All right, so what's the difference between a retinol versus a retinoid or retin-A or tretinoin? There's, there's a lot of different terms that are thrown out there. Basically, retinoids is the overarching term, and retinoids are derived from vitamin A, and they play a very important role with anti-aging and just overall skin health. Retinoids work in your skin cells by increasing your skin cell turnover, so you're creating fresh new skin that's more even and fresh looking. It also helps make the epidermis thicker and healthier, and works deeper in the dermis where the collagen sits and helps remodel collagen. This ends up making your skin look more plump, more smooth, and also have less wrinkles. Stay tuned because I'm gonna talk about the differences between like over-the-counter retinols versus prescription retinoids like Retin-A. I'm also gonna talk about how to use a retinoid properly because that's very important. Now that we know what retinoids are, let's talk about the different types of retinoids. These include retinol, tretinoin, retin-A, different, and I wanted to show this diagram because it shows that retinol has to get converted to tretinoin or retinoic acid, which is the active form of vitamin A. This is what actually works in the skin for anti-aging as well as like anti-acne purposes. Because retinol has to get converted to the more active form, it's not as strong, it's more mild. Here's another way to look at it. There's prescription retinoids and then there's over-the-counter retinoids. If you have sensitive skin or if you're new to retinoids, you may wanna start with an over-the-counter retinol. If you wanna be more aggressive, if you have oily skin, you can certainly start with a prescription retinoid. If you have sensitive skin with acne, you may wanna start with an over-the-counter adapalene. More recently, there are some newer medical grade retinols that have come out that when used for prolonged periods can show just as effective outcomes as prescription retinoids. If you have any questions on where to even start, I recommend talking to your dermatologist. Welcome to my bathroom. Since it's bedtime, let's talk about how to use a retinoid properly. Make sure you wash your face real well and that it's clean and dry. I recommend using just a green pea size amount of the retinoid for your entire face. Because it's not that much, I recommend dabbing it in five different parts on your face and spreading it out evenly. I recommend not getting too close to the eye area just because the skin around the eye is more delicate. Also for beginners, around the mouth can be another delicate area. And for beginners, I recommend starting out using this every other night for the first two weeks. If your skin does not get too dry or irritated, then try to go up to every night as tolerated. After applying your retinoid, I recommend applying a lightweight moisturizer afterwards. If your skin still feels dry, even with you using the retinoid every other night, I recommend switching it up and using the moisturizer first and then applying the retinoid on top. Also, retinoids can make your skin more sensitive to the sun, so don't forget to wear your sunscreen every morning.